when it comes to responsibility the pen is lifted on three occasions the hadith says the pen is lifted upon three types of people one who is sleeping until he wakes up what you see in your dream what you've done in your sleep you're not accountable for it subhanallah secondly the one who is not in his mind until he comes to his right frame of mind and thirdly the one who is a child until he reaches the age of puberty or she then it is held against you you haven't read salah when you were a baby allah is not going to ask you but you achieved maturity puberty responsibility you are in the right frame of mind and you're not asleep it is held against you this is why those who have overslept a salah without a doing of their own the hadith says no problem it is wrong, but you can always do qada and Allah will forgive you. Whoever sleeps over a prayer by mistake, not someone who calculated it. You know what calculate means? I know that Fajr, for example, sunrise is at 5.50, for example, today. And I know that, uh, you know what, I need to read Salatul Fajr. But I say, look, for Fajr, Allah will wake me up. As for work, I will wake myself up. Subhanallah. So you put your clock at quarter past six, six o'clock, 10 minutes after the time, then you are guilty. That doesn't mean, okay, I slept over the salah and the hadith says, if you're sleeping, you're forgiven. No, you planned to sleep. Therefore, you are guilty and responsible. You need to make an effort. My brothers and sisters, it's a matter of 10 minutes or half an hour. It's a matter of maximum one hour. So can we not do that for the sake of Allah? The hadith says, the two units of sunnah of, of fajr salah prior to the farad they are better for you than the whole dunya and whatever is in it subhanallah today a small deal we want it especially when the bond notes are being converted at a good rate we run why subhanallah i'm gaining my money but when it comes to the becoming a person who is freed by Allah, Allah says the whole world and what it has, Wallahi, better than that are the two units of Sunnah of Salatul Fajr. And that reward is for the one who gets up early. They make wudu with enthusiasm. They look forward to standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have a reward for the entire dunya and whatever it holds just in two units of Salah. May Allah make us regular with Salatul Fajr and we come and get up early so that we can fulfill those two units in a beautiful way. Look at the weight. The weight of two units is not the same when it comes to Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib and Isha. Fajr is much more heavier. Why? It required a bigger effort than any other Salah. That's the reason. Allah says, I don't reward you equally for that which is easy and that which is hard. That which is hard, you get a bigger reward.